more. Let's see. Let's have some more. One more. Now you're really up. And then just turn it down so they can see. see. Or I could just put it on the floor, girl. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. Isabel, turn that down. Yeah. Isabel Harrison. Yeah. Turn that down right now. What's up, y'all? Good morning. Set y'all up the right way. Okay. Let's see. If the, it's kind of crooked, isn't it? Good morning, you guys. So, today, you guys, I'm getting ready to make some breakfast. You guys, we're getting ready to make some, um, it's kind of irritating me that I can't see my, okay, I just don't want y'all to be, okay, maybe, I'm put y'all here, I don't want that light to be in y'all's face. It's the only thing. There. That's better. And y'all can still kind of see this a little bit, maybe. I just have to stand back some. Good morning, y'all. Gonna make some breakfast, you guys, for the kids. And so, and myself, let me stop lying. Um, Good morning. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody had a restful evening. Um, this need to come up some because it's just about to irritate me in my eye. Um, I hope you guys had a restful evening, you guys. I'm getting ready to make some breakfast, so I'm going to make some turkey bacon, some buttermilk pancakes, and some sausage, and some eggs, and hash browns for the kids, okay, and myself, all right? Um, Clifton, too. So I'm getting ready to just, I think, go ahead and make the um, hash browns first. So I'm cooking everything on this griddle right right here, y'all. Every single thing I'm going to cook, I'm going to just cook on this griddle. So I'm going to put some olive avocado oil on it. I hope everybody's having a beautiful morning. It's really nice to see everybody in here. It's really, really, really nice to see all y'all. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hey, Tiffany, two time. Hey, non uh, fadable. Hi, Tanya. What's up, Camo? Smiz, Turtle. Hello, Michelle, Anne Marie. What's going on, y'all? Francesca. Sounds good, non fadable. Hey, Sandra, good morning. Okay, babe, I'll see you later. Trinity, hey, and Sheila, what's up? Hey, Star Shay, what's up, Tommy? Um, what time is it here? Let me see. It is, it's 11.53 here. So, I'm a little, you know, it's really lunch, I guess brunch. If any, if anyway, I guess. But you know, on Saturday, people eat breakfast late anyway. Yes, everything's going good. I'm thankful. I'm blessed. I woke up. God woke me up this morning. I woke up feeling amazing in my body. I woke up thankful. Okay, I woke up just allowing myself to just be, just be, baby. 
So I'm thankful that I'm here and I'm blessed. My mother is here, you guys. I'm going to be recording for my mother's channel today. Um, she wants some fried chicken, of course. And so we'll be doing that later on today. So be looking forward to a video on Real Talk with Nana and Donisha later on, you guys. Um, but she went to the store to get me some more of this syrup because I didn't realize I didn't. I only had a little bit of maple syrup. I, if I'm going to do this video, my mama, I'm going to have to be real. Like, literally, I'm not going to be able to eat any, like, pancakes or nothing. I'm going to just have to do, you know, my hash browns and the turkey bacon and the eggs because I don't want to overdo it. And then when it's time for me to eat with her, you know, I'm not going to be hungry. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to take it easy try to take it easy but yeah y'all so let's get these hash browns on here these um hash browns just kind of try to smear this oil out um, a little bit and let me put these hash browns on here so this is the rest of the hat i'm gonna use the rest of these hash browns from um the other day y'all remember when i made the breakfast burrito so this is the rest from that so I'm pretty thankful. Let me go ahead and put on this apron. So I don't mess up my shirt so early. Put on Clifton's apron. Somebody at his job <laughs> made him this. Um. So yeah, here's those half browns. Just gonna put them up there, you know. Make some hash. Yes, honey. So, I hope everybody is doing well. Blessed and highly favored. Feeling blessed and highly favored. Because I woke up pretty thankful. I woke up, I read my Bible this morning. I read a chapter. I read the book of Acts this morning. Chapter 3. Learned some interesting stuff that I didn't know previously. So I was pretty happy about that. Right. Put my hash browns. These are the other ones, the ones I like, the Alexia ones, organic ones. Let me put the rest of them up there. They're kind of like smaller, so that's how you know the difference. Yes, honey. Those out. Yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna throw a little in a little thing yet. I'm gonna throw some um olive powder on them. Top. Powder. And I'm going to throw some onion powder. And then some, oh, they smell good. A little bit of um, pink Himalayan sea salt. And some black pepper. That's really all they need. But really, you know, because I'm extra, I'm going to add in a little bit of oregano. I'm just extra lately, y'all. Don't worry about me. You didn't need it, but I, I was, you know, just feeling, woke up feeling extra. It's okay. All right. What's up? Hey, Grandma, how are you? I hope you're having a blessed, beautiful Saturday morning. Enjoying your morning. Yes, honey. So we're going to let those cook, you guys. Thank you so much, Anne-Marie. God bless you guys. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Got two Michelles in here. Oh, thank you, T-Love. Good morning, Peaches. Yes, honey, it's time to eat. Okay. Hey, Tiffany. Good morning, Tiffany. All right. So I'm going to let these cook. You know, I like mine. You want to let them get brown. And so I just let them sit up there for a minute. Because I like them to be kind of brown. 
And then for some reason, they, I don't know why, but they, they end up taking a little time to get brown. So we're going to let those brown. And I'm going to try to get me a bowl. And we're going to whip up these, whip up the batter for these pancakes. rest of this honey because I'm not finna waste it. I'm going to use this turkey that I had the other day y'all that I was going to use. I'm going to use it today because listen I'm not I'm not in the business of wasting food. I'm not. I'm just not. So look got this salami in here. I'm going to make me a doggone salami sandwich tomorrow probably. Hell. Why not? Make me a Go get me some bread. I got some salami in there, you guys. And, you know, before they get old, you know what? <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll probably go get me some more turkey slices, honey. And get me, like, a hoagie or something, a fresh hoagie or something. And make me some salami sandwiches for lunch or something tomorrow. For real. So, I'm going to fry these sausages because they in there. Okay? I'm going to fry them sausages up, baby. And, um, let's go ahead and make these. Push this back. We're going to go ahead and make these, um, whip up these pancakes. So let me get some. All right. So this is a uh, buttermilk. Let me close the fridge right here. Buttermilk pancakes. It already has buttermilk in it, but I'm going to add some more buttermilk to it. Hey, Gail. Happy Saturday. Yeah, Miss Candy. Hey, Miss Candy. So I'm going to add. So this is what I'm using, y'all. I got this from Whole Foods. Okay, these look like they're ready to turn. So let me turn them. Oh, no. It's sort of, but not really. For some reason, it'd be hotter in the middle. I don't know why. And I'm joking. Okay. What about you? How are you doing? Okay. All right. I'm going to add some more avocado oil on top. I don't want no dry potatoes. Just a little bit. I'm going to turn them down some too. So they're not rushing. Yes, baby. We don't want no dry potatoes. Okay. So now I'm going to add in this here. Um, so. I'm going to add in and start with two cups, y'all. About two cups of buttermilk pancake mix. Let me see. Does it need eggs? Okay, it does. Okay, so it needs one, add one, two-thirds cup of water, milk, or favorite non-dairy beverage, um, oil, and eggs. Eggs are optional. Okay, so I am going to add in an egg. I'm going to add in one of these little eggs I got this morning. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add in the nine dry ingredients. Uh, let me see. Do I need, should I put anything in it? Mm, trying to think. Maybe I'll add in some brown sugar in it. Put some brown sugar in it, y'all. Just a little bit, not a lot. I added in a, a teaspoon of brown sugar. For the kiddos. For the kiddos. Okay, one egg. I'm going to add in some, um, where's that? I'm going to add in some.
some blueberries too, y'all. Some frozen blueberries. Because Isabel loves blueberries. So, if I put them in the pancakes, it might get her to eat them. And add in about a half a cup of those. Okay. And then I'm going to add in some, um, where is it? Where you at? Where you at? I know this is this y'all probably wouldn't do this, but I'm gonna add in some allspice, y'all. I know y'all probably like what allspice, but yeah, I add in a teaspoon of allspice too. Try it; it's good. It's good in the pancakes. The batter. It gives it like a a nutmeggy taste. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, so then I'm gonna add in some of this buttermilk here. Just a little bit, and then I'm going to add in some water. Starting with a little, just a little bit of water, and then mix it together, and then you taste it. Okay, it looks like you need like a, probably a cup of water. little water at a time and then mix it. That's the consistency I want. Mm. Yep. It's good, y'all. syrup though. I, I like them kind of a little bit sweeter than that. And I also didn't consider that Clifton's probably going to want some, so I'm going to actually have to add in another, some more batter itself, because I didn't consider that my husband probably going to want some pancakes too. Some more, a little more buttermilk. Actually, I'm going to add the rest of this. It's not much in here. You want to say hi, Elijah? You want to say hi? Come on. Come say hi. The reason why my voice sounds like this, I'm, I just woke up like uh, 30 minutes ago. Wait, wait, mom, what are you making? I'm making you some pancakes. Oh. Blueberries in it. I put blueberries in it. Mm. Yeah, I'm making y'all breakfast right now. Mm -hmm. You brush your teeth? I'm about to. Okay. Won't. That's what you need. Tell me what you want. Tell 
tell me what you need, baby, baby, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm almost done, y'all. Let me stir these up, get these right, and I'll check y'all comments in a second. Get the batter right. That's great consistency. Mmm. Whoa, y'all, them good. There is. I said it rich. That rich. I said that rich. Ah, ah. Yes. Y'all know when I do the dance, that means it's good. That's good, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Oh, yes, honey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that's the great consistency, too. It don't need nothing else. That's the great consistency. I mean, it, I mean, it could use a little bit more, you know, you know, a little, a little bit more maple syrup. Ain't nothing wrong with a little sweetness. But other than that, it don't need nothing else. I mean, I could throw a few more blueberries in it, but nah, it's cool. That's enough. They could have some on top if they want them on top. Yeah. Mm. Perfect. All right. However, I think I am going to add one more egg because I didn't realize that I had, um, because I put more batter in here, probably needed one more egg, y'all. So I put two eggs in here and about, and I think I used about three cups of buttermilk flour and I used a cup, it was probably a one cup of buttermilk. And I used a teaspoon of allspice to sweeten it. I used one teaspoon of uh -huh. brown sugar and then about maybe three to four teaspoons, yeah. tablespoons of maple syrup. And then I used a half a cup okay, of blueberries. Well, you ain't do, you this ain't for you. You wasn't finna get that maple syrup today, girl. That was $26. Oh, was it? Bam. Oh, you better taste this. This ain't got no, sh no, yes, it this ain't got no sugar in it. It does. Okay. Taste it, mama. You might not like that. It ain't for me. I'm not eating pancakes. I'm not eating it. This is for the kids. Hi, you guys. $26 for some. Mama, syrup. taste this better. Why you ain't taste it? I did. The egg thinned it out more, though. Girl, you didn't put no sugar in that? I did put sugar in Girl, it. Girl, you need to put some more in that. More sugar? No. Yeah. You want it sweeter than that? Girl, you better put some sugar in that dog. See, I told um, you, my mama's a little sweet. You better put some sugar off in that dog on pancakes. Oh, my gosh. She want more sugar. Mm. They're going to put sugar on their pancakes. Girl, put... I'm not putting more in there. Oh, yeah. That tastes like... It tastes like syrup. What well, you thought it was supposed to taste like? That... Okay, again. Yeah, it tastes like syrup. I need to put more. I'm going to have to put more no, flour in there. It's, no, 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 no. You're fine. You like them thin, thin like it, that? It, you want them to melt in your mouth? You don't want nothing thick? Well, you're always trying to overdo something. I do. I, I, I agree. I do overdo. I can't help myself. That's fine. Wait a minute. Say hi, Mom. I just name. said it. Dang. I just said hi, you guys. Dang, man. I just said hi, you guys. Dang, man. Disrespect my crew? I ain't disrespecting your crew. They know I love. Y'all know y'all. I love y'all. Oh, 
And when you're done doing all that, you need to grease that pan. I'll grease my pan when you grease your scalp. Oh, I did all that. Grease it again. You I missed a few, a few patches. You're a dog gonna lie. Don't be disrespecting me in front of family. Whatever. Why you think you're a, a, a gourmet cook? You, uh huh, uh huh. I'm the one taught you. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Whatever. Your parents always, the parents always I, want to I, say they I'm taught the you one something. That taught you how to cook. They talk about you 360 days out of the year, but the five days that you cook good, they want to be always want to want to. Uh, but grab I'm the, the one that taught you how to cook. Y'all be grabbing the credit, but y'all you don't be grabbing the credit when you be talking about me. When they talk about your food, they don't want to grab the credit. Then what? You want to taste these two? Go ahead. Go ahead. Mama always uh, tasting stuff. Need you hear? <laughs> no, Mama, because they're gonna put ketchup on it. You don't need too much salt. Need some garlic. Man, it, it's garlic in it. Get out of my kitchen. Pepper. <laughs> pepper in it too. Don't pay her no attention. Mamas do that. Hopefully, I don't do that to Isabel. I don't know if I will. I might. I don't know. I hope not. All right, so the hash is done. We're going to move on to the pancakes. Move on to the pancakes, y'all. Okay, 175 of y'all in here, and we only got 62 likes. Come on, y'all. Thumbs it up. Come on, y'all. Thumbs up the live, y'all, and share it. Come on, y'all. And thank you if you have thumbs it up already. All right. Good afternoon, Donisha. It's 3, 3 p.m. here in Philadelphia. But anyway, I see you are you having on uh having on Clifton Apron. Yeah, it looks cute. Thank you. Order it, then send it. Okay, I we will, y'all. We're gonna get aprons. We're gonna get Clifton some aprons, and we're gonna have Clifton autograph the aprons. Okay. We gonna do that. We gonna we gonna get it popping. Just give me some time. I'm working with what I got here. Thank you, Miss Candy. All right. All right, y'all. Oh, I didn't even show y'all. I'm sorry. There the hash browns at, y'all. There y'all go. I didn't even show you. Excuse me. Got the little crispy pieces. I like those kinds. Okay, I'm gonna make. Pancakes now. I like to make my pancakes with butter though, y'all. So let me get some butter. Oh, y'all wonder why I'm in the way. I'm I'm trying to prepare this dog. Nobody said you was in the way. I'm just saying why they you You're know not in the way. Okay. You're not in the way. Okay. You're not in the way. Alright. She's make she's making her chicken, y'all. She's getting her Mom, I got some uh great panko right here for your flowers. Alright. Mama, have you ever thought about cooking? Can we cook the chicken in here? No. Why not? Mm -hmm. Why not? Because we chicken needs to be deep fried out of here. I was trying to switch up something. I wanted to try and see if it could, okay. if it could, if I could cook it in there. Fry yours in there. If I, was in a hotel, if I was in a hotel, I would. Well, you don't have a choice when you're in a hotel. Right. So you guys, I got my butter here, and I'm just gonna smear, smear it on here, y'all, like that, like so. Get it nice and buttery. Get it nice and buttery, y'all. This is that good butter too. So you know it's you know it's gonna go down. All right, take that out, and I'm gonna just dip in here, y'all, like that, and just pour it like that. And I might need to turn it up some and put it on 350 and see how that cooks. <laughs> oh, bless you. Let's see how this how this do. We gonna see how it how it how it how it do. Now, Nisha, gonna... this ain't enough chicken. I'm just gonna go and let you know. Yes, that. it is, mom. Okay, because right, they're finna yeah. be full. They're still gonna be full. Okay, whatever. Everybody gonna what be full off of these pancakes. 
he's gonna be full too, and he got fish in the in the okay. refrigerator that he didn't eat yesterday. Right. Yeah, everybody's gonna be extremely full. The kids ain't gonna want nothing after this. This is a lot of food. They're not gonna be hungry till probably like four o'clock, five o'clock p.m., maybe even six. And then by then, they can, there's probably gonna be leftovers they could eat. I think I went overboard on the butter, but yeah, that's not here, not there. Don't worry about it. Went a little overboard on the butter. Okay, turn it down for a burn. It's gonna do that anyway. Well, I, I, I mean, I wanted, I wanted to cook. Let me turn it on 300. See how that do. See, cause when that light goes off, that means it's not cooking hot, uh, hot enough. I don't know how this grill. It just depends on this. I don't know how hot this thing is. But what I can do is just, you know, scoop that butter on the top like that. Just scoop it like that. I just won't use as much next time. I just, I went a little overboard with the butter. Yeah, now, but it's all good. Yeah, we'll just scoop it towards those edges. Uh oh. Pancakes is looking good. Okay. So typically you know your pancakes is ready to turn over, y'all, when you get those little when it gets the little bubbles at the top. But sometimes if it's too hot, it ain't gonna give you're not giving it enough time to form the little bubbles. So we, I'm gonna leave it on 300 because I don't want it to cook too, too, too fast. And I love the buttermilk because the buttermilk is what it does. It makes the, the pancakes rise. It makes them rise. No, it don't. They're rising. It may rise. They're gonna rise anyway. The buttermilk no, it's makes not, them fluffy. It's not the buttermilk. The buttermilk makes them fluffy. So what does the buttermilk do? No. The buttermilk. The buttermilk, the buttermilk makes them taste. Um, Taste, um, help me out, y'all. The buttermilk gives it like, like, a. Oh. it doesn't make them fluffy. It just makes them, um, to where they melt in your mouth that far. Not fluffy. Mama, y'all tell me what the buttermilk, what's the purpose it of buttermilk in the fluffy. pancakes? It doesn't make them fluffy. Okay, y'all tell me, because I thought... Them, it makes them thin. It because makes them, to me, it makes them fluffy. It, no, it don't. To her, I don't know what they do. It doesn't make them fluffy. It makes them melt, melt in your mouth. Y'all tell me. Hater? You learned something. No, you hating in my kitchen? No. Instead of saying, Donnie, those look pretty told, good. Uh, it doesn't matter. Stop always saying what you told me. What you didn't give me a chance. You looked at him and said, you, you learned something. I gave you a you chance. You didn't give me a chance I did. Your chance. You looked at me and you said, didn't. you learned something. You didn't give me a chance. You said something. You, you said, you, something. You, you, said you learned something. You didn't give me a chance. Get out, mama. Girl, you know that the pancakes look good. Give me one. Mama is a hater, y'all. Let me have one. How am I going to hate on you? I ain't hating on you. Say something nice. That's rude. I'm gonna hate on you, girl. If you don't get out, I here. didn't say you rude. Mama. I said thinking I'm a ha I'm hating on you is rude. Why would I do that, Mama? Respect my pancake. <laughs> Period. Respect you. Your pancake. <laughs> Respect it. You don't want me second guessing your own food. No, I don't second guess my food. Yeah, if I don't, if I've never made it, I just bef girl, like that before. Made, I take my out. time. I don't rush through you it like you. I don't, I don't, I don't second guess my food, baby. I don't second guess my. Food. I know my food is good. Okay, boo boo. <laughs> I don't second guess my food. I just take my time and I taste it. I take my time and I like to get insight when I'm making something new that I've never made before. You made those before. No, I have not. Oh, you ain't made no blueberry pancake before? I'm not not like this, no. No, I did have not. Okay. Got the oil. You, you want to taste one? That's what I said. Go ahead, mom. Give me a small one. Go ahead, it's on the top right there. So here is the pancake, y'all. You always like, you know, you like those crispy burnt edges. 
However, you guys, in the future, I want my pancakes more fluffier than that. And I think to get them more fluffier than that, you're going to put more batter in here to make them more thicker. They get fluffier when they're thicker. So next time, I'm going to add more batter. My mama likes the thin ones like this, but I like my pancakes to be thick. I don't like them that thin. What does it taste like? Good. It's good. Listen, she sure know how to throw out insults, but when something good, girl, she be just as quiet as a mouse in a corner. In the back. Ain't said nothing, y'all. Ain't said nothing. Oh, uh, okay. Whip it with egg beater. What's egg beater? Oh, like an egg beater? Whip it with an egg beater? Yeah, because I like my pancakes to be like fluffy. But like fluffy, but when you taste it, not all thick going down your throat. Like still melt in your mouth, or, but like fluffy. I like them to be thick. Or what you can do down there is you also make them thick. You take the egg white and you whip the egg white. Yeah, that's and what she said, egg beater. The egg white, and then you you still add in the yellow. For right, sure. CC, when something good, mama quiet, y'all. Don't say not a word. Be in the back. Can't see her, can't ain't hurt her at all. Um, but I'ma learn, you know, you guys. I'ma learn. I'll learn. I'll learn how to get them fluffy. Because normally I have to like just add more batter to get them fluffier, but because I don't like mine just thin. Taste it. No, I know it's probably good, but I don't like them this thin. It's good. All I need is a syrup. Mm -hmm. That's it. And with that, with it tasting like that, it's not. It has. It don't have a lot of sugar in it. It could. Um, you could put it on like a meat and make like a sandwich. breakfast sandwich. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why I said I don't like my pancakes. You can put them on a breakfast sandwich with the dang on sweet. Yeah. That's why I said I don't like my pancakes to be like really sweet. I don't like them sweet. Them regular um, berries? Blueberries, yeah. Those uh -huh, are regular okay, blueberries. that's why you're saying that. Because you made, you made the, the uh, blueberry pancake with the blueberries already in the package. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Yeah. See, had my mama made these, she would have put a way more sugar in it. My mama likes them really, really sweet, but I don't. Because you're going to put syrup on top, so why are you putting so much sugar in them? Because I don't, I don't, That's I don't, not gonna do nothing but spike your blood sugar. Don't nobody want that. It can spike mine all the She's talking, about, girl. You better hush. Cause I wouldn't put no syrup. Good morning, on it. Vanessa. I wouldn't put no syrup on it. I don't eat syrup on my pancakes. Right, Commander. I don't. I don't eat um syrup on my pancakes. Yes, T Love. I'm 57 years old, and before my mother passed away a year old, we always cooked together. When I was very young, I was all, I always wanted to cook, and she taught me. Now my grown kids want me to cook all the time. That's right, Kimberly, and my condolences to your mother passing. You guys, we got 98 likes. Come on, y'all. It's 196 of y'all. Can we get 100 more likes, please? Come on, y'all. You can do it. It don't cost you nothing. Okay, what's up, stranger? Back. It's 12 o'clock here now. Okay, mom. Mama, don't be gone long. I'm not. She seasoned the chicken, y'all, and then she left. She leaving. She didn't. Good. Hey, Tashana, how you been, baby? Oh, that sounds good, Anne Marie. I'm going to have to try that one day. Uh oh. Turn them over. Turn them over. Turn them over. Turn them over. I'm finna go turn this fan on, y'all. It's getting a little hot in here. Hold on. Sorry, this is up. Hey, Adriana. Good morning, my love. Or good afternoon. One time, one of my friends accidentally used cake batter instead of pancake batter to make them, and they were so good. Yeah, my mama used that, too. She uses cake batter to make her pancakes, too. She does that, too, y'all. I'm telling you, when my mama's can't pancake, when I tell you her pancakes be sweet, baby, her pancakes be so sweet. I don't like mine sweet like that. I don't. It's that butter, y'all, that make them edges nice and golden. 
It's the butter, baby. Yes. Yeah. See, this is going to make me want to eat this, you know? But I'm not, though. I don't want that. What's that? A sandwich. When'd you eat that? Earlier. Ugh, where you get that from? Safeway. Girl, that look nasty. It ain't, girl. That's why I'm saving it. I don't want the sun to hit it. Oh, okay. Mama, can you get me? Never mind. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to drink me some juice. I think I should drink me some what juice. What do you want me to get? I was going to ask you to get me a water, but I'm going to just drink me some juice. I'm going to drink me some of this palm grant juice. Yeah, why not? Let me drink me some juice. I'm finna go get me one of them chairs and bring one of them chairs in here, y'all, so I can sit down. Ain't nobody trying to do all this standing. I'm finna drink the rest of this, too. Let me get a chair, y'all. Baba! Can I use your phone so I can read these comments? Clifton ain't here. Clifton gone. Elijah? Let me use your phone, son. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you, baby. You barely got any charge. Dang. Don't never charge your phone. There y'all is. There he is. Right, yeah, yesterday, when I was on live yesterday, uh, my, uh, when I got off live, no, it was yesterday or sometime this week, I got off live, listen, honey, I woke up the next morning, my hips felt real, like, tight, I'm like, why does my hips feel like that, and I realized, because I was standing up in the kitchen on live for, like, two hours, and sometimes I'm in here for three hours, sometimes I, when I'm on live in here cooking, I'm on here for, like, two or more hours, most of the time, I'm on here for two or more hours. Yeah. Yeah, most of the time, when I'm on live, I'll be on live. I'll be on here for like more than two uh, two or more hours. I'll be up in here working, y'all. Like I'm really outside. Like I'm really in a restaurant. <laughs> and what motivates me, that pomegranate juice is amazing. It's good. Thank you, Anna, Anna Chan. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. God bless you. Good morning, Terrell. Good morning, Nadia. But what motivates me, you guys, to get in here and cook for my family is because the Bible says that we need to take care of our household. The Bible, God, God wants us to take care of our household. If we're taking care of everybody else, but for our family, that is not God is not pleased with that. So if you have a family, you need to make sure you take care of your family before you take care of anybody else. Your family comes first. So even though, even when I don't feel like doing it, I do it because it pleases my father. You know, it pleases God when we take care of our family. It pleases him. He wants us to take care of our own. You know, you telling somebody else what to do about their kids. What about your kids? You know, we need to focus on our own homes. And so I do this to show you guys that it's important to focus on your own home. You need to take care of your home first. Your home comes first. So I get up here every day and I show you guys that I focus on my home first. This, you know, I take care of my babies first. You know, then everything else. So that's why I do this. You know, that's why I'm... 
home. You know what I'm saying? And I'm with my babies and I'm not out in the streets like I used to be or in the going out to the club and leaving the kids with the babysitter. No, I'm with my kids every single day. They, I am there with them, you know? You know, it's only, it's only like two or three times out of a month that I'm away from them. And that's because I don't want nobody else raising my kids. I want to raise my own kids. Now, let's talk about the kids that you are raising, but the TV is raising them. It's important for us to make sure that the game, video games, and the TV ain't raising our kids as well. Because sometimes you could be in the house with them, but y'all in separate rooms, and they watching TV and playing video games. And you really still ain't, you know, contributing like you should. So, it's important to pull them to the side and talk to your kids. Ask them how they're doing. Ask them how their day is. You know, and just sit next to them, and y'all both watch the TV. You know what I'm saying? We got to make sure that we focus on our family first. Our family comes first. So that's why I get up here to show you guys that. That it's important to focus on your family. Yeah. Take care of your kids. And it doesn't have to be boring. A lot of times we make it seem like it's boring or like annoying to do it. To get in the kitchen and cook. But it can be fun. A lot of times when I'm in here with y'all, I have fun, you know, cooking and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be boring, you know what I'm saying? It does not have to be boring. It can be fun. You can make it fun. That's what the pancakes looking like, y'all. Get you one. Go on and get you one. Get you one of them pancakes. Yes, honey. My husband, I think, is at the gym, y'all. When I went to the store, me and Isabel went to the grocery store. And when I came back home, he was gone. And so I'm assuming he's at the uh, gym. So when he comes back home, he's going to be hungry, baby. And he's going to have plenty to eat. There's going to be plenty to eat. Okay. All right. So actually... This I could make probably just one big pancake. I don't know how this is going to turn out. But we going to see. I can start doing is chopping up the onions I, okay baby I'm almost done I'm almost done I got pancake look mommy got and look mommy put blueberries in the pancake yeah it's gonna be good so mommy's almost done okay you're not getting up there you're not getting up there don't do that you can turn around and say hi they see you Say hi. Hi. See? Hey. Ho. Oh. Hey. Ho. Oh. Hey. Oh. 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 Isabel over here. Isabel over there. Isabel over here. Isabel over there. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Say hey, watch squad. Say hey, watch squad. Say hey, watch squad. <laughs> All right, go on out the kitchen. Let me finish. Okay, mommy almost done. When we get a bigger kitchen, you can help mommy cook. Okay, mm -hmm. when we get a bigger kitchen, you can come in the kitchen with mommy. <laughs> but until then, baby, your presence is making it hot. Go on about him. Uh, when the food is done, I will call you. See ya. Love ya. I'm you want to drink? You want to yeah. taste some? I wonder why the pomegranate juice turned this color. Normally, it's not this dark. I wonder why it turned this color. Hmm. Oh man, this is so good. 
Isabel, come out of there. Now. You're not getting no ice cream. Get on up out of here, girl. Go on. Um, Goodbye. I want this stuff. I want eggs. You, wait, I'm cooking the eggs. Get out. Get you some water and go sit down somewhere. All right, y'all. I'm getting ready to cut the um the onions. I like onions and mushrooms in my eggs. And so I'm going to cut up some onions and some mushrooms. All right, let me see. Um, nice. down How you doing? Y'all. Yeah. Y'all, look at how big this pancake is. <laughs> Y'all see how big this pancake is? Oh, my. Y'all think I could turn it? We gonna see. That's a big pancake. Anne Marie said, I'll take that one, please. <laughs> Y'all, I, I do have a bigger, I have a bigger. I have a bigger spatula. Let's see y'all. Bam! Ah! <laughs> somebody, bitch, somebody rewind that. <laughs> Yay! I did it. <laughs> I scared somebody. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare y'all. Somebody was like, what? What happened? <laughs> yes, honey, I flipped that thing. Flipped it good, baby. Yes. <laughs> okay, bye, Stranger Things. Love you. Yes, honey. That's a big one. <laughs> all right okay so we're gonna start sauteing the onions and mushrooms on one side and we're gonna start cooking the meat on the other side okay so let me bring the onions over good 
put them over there for now. And that one covers the top. Pancakes are done. There you go. Blueberry pancakes. I'm going to stick them in the oven with the rest. All right. So now I'm going to put a little bit of avocado oil up here to cook these mush, these onions. Or a lot. We're gonna chop up these mushrooms. Don't come back in here. I'm almost done. Goodbye. Don't come back in here. Now. Now took those with hers. I'm finna cook the meat right now. Go on now. Lord, every time I start cooking, go on up out of here. Nothing like you starving, girl. You've been eating all dog all morning. Get up out of here. Come back in here, I mean it. You better stop before I send you to your room. Okay. Let me hurry up, y'all. I don't got time for this. Little girl, every time I start cooking, she gonna come in here talking about she hungry. Go ahead and throw these sausages up here. Open this turkey back. In the, um, I'm going to season the, um, the mushrooms and stuff. Sea salt. Some paprika. I'm going to call daddy and see where he at. 
onion powder, I mean garlic powder. And some onion powder. Tillamook sharp cheddar for our uh, eggs, y'all. Even in Trinidad. Ooh, y'all. That must be dark meat. It, uh, that must be the dark part of the turkey. Because the Jenny O getting a nice crisp on it. You know what I didn't do today? I have an empty. I'm eating on empty stomach. But what I forgot to do is I'm going to show y'all what I do show y'all what I do. On an empty stomach, y'all, y'all need to get y'all some extra virgin olive oil organic extra virgin olive oil and you need to take a spoonful of that. It's good for you. Mmm. Well, Elijah, you want some? Uh, no. Remember, it's good, it's a good, your good cholesterol. You should have stopped taking No, I did not. This is good for you, boy. Here. Do the hashes away. The what? Do the hashes away. The hash brown? Yeah. No. Why would I throw them away? The ones you just seen me cooking? Yeah. Now why would I throw them away? Ask yourself. They in the oven, boy. Oh. You and your sister can never wait. Dang! Every time I start cooking, y'all come in here bothering me. Get it's out. Good. Dang! You know, dog on well, I ain't throw them away. <laughs> Four pieces are mine, so I'm gonna put them on my plate. Move them down some. Very good enough. spill. We still in the game. We still in the game. Really, mommy? We okay. Don't be talking about really mommy. Get out. Talk about some really mommy. That's not good. We okay, y'all. We okay. Thank God I dropped them in the oven and not on the floor. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. I know my husband likes. Let me call Clifton, y'all, and see if he wants spam too. I'm gonna eat see what he wants. I don't know what he wants. Let me call my husband. First of all, and see where he at. You've been gone for a whole hour. Where you watching me on live? You watching me on live? Yeah, I'm on live. I'm cooking. Um. Anyway, I was calling you because I'm making breakfast. Um. You ain't ate yet, did you? Okay. You skipped breakfast. You didn't eat. Yeah, I know you got. I know you got the fish for later. I know that, but um, I'm making breakfast right now, and so um, I made some the rest of those hash browns, and then um, I made this turkey uh, turkey bacon and sausage, and then I made some pancakes. So um, did you want? I was calling you to see if you wanted some spam to go with it, or if this is good. Okay, so I got sausage, I got turkey bacon, and then I had. I'm gonna make you some spam. And um, the, I got blueberry pancakes I made. they already done. So everything should be ready in about 15 minutes. So come on. When you get done, come on. Why not? It's almost 1 o'clock. It's almost 1 o'clock, though. Yeah, because you drink that coffee and lemon and stuff. Well, um, if you... if. When I sit down to eat, if you not ate, I'm just let I, your stuff. I'll just leave your stuff, your stuff in the oven. All right. Okay. All right, bye. Y'all know on Saturday you can have breakfast at whatever time you want. When it's Saturday, y'all. Saturday, you can eat breakfast at whatever time you want to eat it. It's Saturday. You're supposed to sleep in on Saturday and eat breakfast late. That's what people do. They sleep in, do some laundry, and they eat their breakfast late. So that's what we're doing today. I guess I am. My husband wants some spam, so I'm going to... Get some spam out of here. And make my husband some spam. All right. Now we got the sausages. All ready to go. We got the turkey bacon. All ready to go. There we go. Got the sausages, turkey bacon, and the hash. Sorry, excuse me. Did a hater say something? Ow. <laughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. I thought a hater said something. Ow. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get this spam going.
Elijah, come here. Did you want um, some spam too? I got I got uh, turkey bacon and sausage. What did you want? And I got turkey spam. Bacon. You want the turkey bacon? Okay. So I'm just making the spam for clipping then. What about me? Isabel, did you want sausage or you want spam? Or uh, turkey bacon? Just turkey bacon. You want turkey bacon? Yeah. Okay. Pancake. Yeah, you can have pancake too. I'm almost done, okay? As soon as I start, you want eggs too, right? Okay, I'm gonna cook these eggs and then um, y'all can eat, okay? Yay. Okay, go sit down. I'm almost done. Okay, let me do a little small cleanup because it's a little dirty. What they say? Hey, what they say? Hey, what they say? Hey, what they say? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Get in your kids' kitchen, Miss uh, Shelly. Get in there. Lady, don't start. <laughs> Lady, don't be arguing with these people. You know. You know what the Bible say. Every tongue that rises up against me, God will condemn. I ain't got to fight my battles, baby. You're probably talking because God is probably whooping you upside your head right now. So you think by continuing to run your mouth, it's going to run you up out of the pain. That's coming unto you. It's all right. Because the same people that be running their mouth, they be the main ones in my inbox apologizing because God be beating them upside their head all night. I ain't worried about it. Let them talk. They be in my inbox apologizing. Don't worry about it. Real soon. What does the Bible say about the wicked? There is no rest for the wicked. When you wicked, there is no rest for the wicked. None. You will get no sleep. No sleep. You will have to medicate yourself to get you, yourself to sleep. For there is no rest for the wicked. So I ain't got to fight. My heavenly father going to fight. I'm covered in the blood, baby. You can't touch me. You can't touch me.
Yes, honey. What the Bible say, y'all? The Bible said you got to know your Bible. If you don't know your Bible, you don't know the word of God, then you don't know how to fight these demons. You don't know how to fight these demons. The Bible said that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. That means my battle ain't with you, baby. It's with the spirit that it, uh, jumped on you because that spirit is pissed off at me because we winning over here and going to continue to win. Right? So that spirit, you don't even know that you being used. You don't even know that the devil is using you. Yeah. But what does the Bible say, honey? My, the book of Genesis said that God gave us human flesh, dominion and power over everything in the world. The Bible says, told us to subdue the world and rule it and take dominion and power over it. That means a spirit ain't got no dominion and power over me. Because everything I see, everything physically, God has given me power over. So I'm going to act accordingly. You ain't got power over me, baby. I'm going to act accordingly and my Heavenly Father going to continue to uh, condemn those tongues that rise up. So I'm going to keep putting my foot on the devil's neck. And that's that. And if you know your Bible, you better make sure you do that too. They talked about Jesus. What do you think? How you, you think you any different? If they talked about Jesus, what makes you exempt? They crucified him. What makes you exempt? They're going to talk about you too. Shoot. But where is Jesus seated at? Where is he at? At the right hand, honey, of my of God. He's seated up in he's seated up in heaven, honey. He's in majesty right now, honey. Okay? Ain't worried about a hater. Over there overlook controlling the haters, okay? So, honey, don't worry about that. Don't let them, don't let nobody steal y'all joy or upset y'all day. Y'all better make sure you better have a good day. Listen, listen, you better have a good day. You better have a good day. Let nobody upset your spirit. You better have a good day, baby. Shoot. Let me tell you something that God told me, baby. Uh. He said, Donisha, the more you allow what people to say bounce off your shoulders, the more I'm going to elevate you. The more you turn the blind eye to it, the more I'm going to elevate you. And whilst I'm elevating you, the same people that ran their mouth and talked about you, your enemies, he said, I'm going to prepare a table in the presence of your enemies. And they're going to have to watch you eat. They're going to have to watch you eat. When they could have been at the table with you. But because they wanted to hate, because they wanted to allow the enemy to, you know what I'm saying, use them, they're going to have to watch you eat. While stay still sitting in the pigeon coop. You don't worry about those people. You don't worry about those people. They're going to have to watch you eat, y'all. They're going to have to watch you eat. Watch you rise. There's no rest for the wicked. Ain't no rest for the wicked. No rest. None. There is no rest for the wicked. And if you wicked... And if you and if you and if you are wicked, you better get yourself together. Because I'm telling you, there ain't no rest for you. Ain't gonna be no rest. You ain't gonna get no sleep tonight. That's why every morning I wake up, I repent. I say, God, forgive me for anything I've done wrong, Lord. Forgive me for my sins. I want to sleep. I don't want to go to bed with a heavy heart. I don't want to go to bed with unforgiveness in my heart. And you ain't gonna get no rest. You're going to be up all night tossing and turning. No, baby. My Bible tells me that God gave us the rest. He gives us rest, honey. He came to give us the perfect rest. He gave us rest. So I enter into my father's rest every single day. So, honey, I, I, I sleep real good at night, honey. And even if I wake up at 3, 4, like this morning, I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning. Nothing special. I just woke up at 4 o'clock this morning. I, and I didn't feel tired. I didn't. I wasn't upset. I sat on the couch. And I turned on my gospel show and I started listening to my uh, uh, one of the one of the uh, one of my mentors. And I just listened and I probably listened to her for a whole hour. And then I turned on my gospel music and then my worship music. And then I just fell back to sleep, woke up this morning, nine o'clock. And I just felt good. I felt rested and everything. You know what I'm saying? So I get I get the perfect sleep. I get rest, honey. 
I get rest. And, 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 it's, and it's because I'm not out here being wicked. It's because I spend most of my day praying for people, helping people, feeding people, okay, physically and spiritually. So as long as I keep doing what my father tells me to do, oh, I'm going to get the perfect rest. And he's going to continue to elevate me. So you can keep hating all you want, devil. It ain't stopping nothing. Because the more you hate, the more you give me, the more all you're doing is giving me more giving me more to talk about. All you're doing is giving me more, more reasons to elevate my father. Every time you try to come and destroy me, all you're doing is giving me more Elmo. You're making my oil. You're just increasing my oil. Somebody say every time the devil come messing with me, all he doing is increasing my oil, honey. So my oil never runs out. All you doing is making this anointing greater because you're giving me a reason to keep fighting. You're giving me a reason to keep speaking the word. You're giving me the reason to keep uh, commanding people to be healed, delivered and set free. So you can keep talking all you want. Exactly. That's all he doing is increasing your oil. You better know it. Okay. That's all the devil is doing is increasing your oil. You better know it. Shoot. I'm not coming out of the rest that my father gave me. And you shouldn't either. God said he'd give you the perfect rest. Don't let these 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 houndrels, these fools, don't let them make you don't don't let them interrupt your rest. God came to give you the perfect rest. And that's why I, I, I don't understand some of you YouTubers out here because y'all let somebody, y'all let these people, listen, y'all didn't got me to preach it now. Listen, y'all let these people run you out for YouTube. Now, why? Why? Why you let these, why you let the devil run you off for of YouTube? Why you let the devil stop your check? For what? You got all them followers, all them subscribers, and you didn't let the devil run you off of your platform. Now for what? I wish a devil would. I wish a devil would. I wish a devil would. Because I'm about that life. Because I'm about that life. Hit on one, two, thrice. Hit on one, two, thrice. Hey, because I'm about that life. Because I'm about that life. I wish a devil would. I wish a devil would. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> I wish you would. I wish a devil think. I wish a devil would try to run me off my platform, baby. I'm about that life. One, two, thrice. <laughs> Don't play with me. I'm about that life. I came from nothing. I was born into poverty. Born into nothing, baby. Okay. I'm about that life, baby. That same life you came from, I'm about it. Don't let this, don't let the Bible that I read and the prayers fool you. Because I was born into poverty. Okay? I, I grew up seeing, seeing coke being cooked on the stove. I grew up in the projects. I'm about that life. So if you think you're going to run me out of here, devil, you got another thing coming. If you think I'm going to let you steal from me all the promises of God that God has given me, you got another thing coming. You can say what you want to, but watch you running your mouth, baby, me and mine is going to continue to elevate. Your mouth ain't stopping nothing. It's my mouth that stops it. Your mouth don't have no control or no authority over me. It's my mouth that has the power, not yours. So whatever I say goes. Whatever I say goes over here, not what you say. That's why y'all need to be careful about what you say. You need to be careful about what's coming out of your mouth because you're not understanding that there's a devil somewhere lurking about, right? Going to and from the earth, right? Looking for an opportunity, right? To get you to fall. Looking for an opportunity to set you back. He's sitting somewhere lurking in the spirit realm. And all he needs, because the spirit realm don't have no dominion and power over the physical world. So he needs a human flesh to agree with him in order to manifest it from the spiritual into the physical. Even them so-called witches y'all be, y'all be uh, going to letting read your poems and stuff like that. They need something physical. 
they need a physical agreement. And when you are not careful, your mouth, you will open up your mouth and say things like, man, I ain't never got no money. Man, my back hurt. Man, I don't feel good. Man, I'm poor. Man, I'm depressed. And you don't even know that you are coming into agreement with the spiritual attack of the enemy. And then you wonder why you ain't got nothing. And then you wonder why you poor still. And then you wonder why your back hurt and you, your health is failing. It's because of your mouth. You need to be careful about what you say because you are prophesying your own future. The Bible says that in the last days, God will pour out his spirit upon all flesh and they will begin to prophesy. It didn't. It, it didn't say. It, it doesn't mean. It doesn't uh, mean that the prophecy is always going to be in your favor. You opening up your mouth, prophesying your demise. You open up your mouth. You opening up your mouth, prophesying your demise. Stop doing that. Watch what you say. Shoot. Speak against it. It don't matter if my leg hurt. If I wake up and my leg hurt, I'm not going to open up my mouth and say, oh, my leg hurt. No, I'm going to open up my mouth and I'm going to say, by the power and the blood of Jesus, Lord Jesus, you said it in your word that by your stripes that I am healed. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I command all of the pain and all of the inflammation out of my body, out of my leg, out of my blood, in the mighty name of Jesus. And every spiritual demon that came forth through my dream to try to attack me, I send back, I return you to cinder. I return your attack to cinder right now. I denounce and I renounce the covenant, any spiritual covenants that I've had made with you while I was sleeping. And I send you back to cinder 10 times hotter in the name of Jesus. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. You open up your mouth. You open up your mouth and you use the power that, that God has given you. That's why there's so many people that don't have nothing. They can't seem to get ahead in life. It's because they're opening up their mouth and they're condemning themselves. They're saying, I'm broke. I ain't got no money. I can't get that. They're speak you're speaking your own death stick inside of your mouth. You gotta be careful. Your words are powerful. They can either bring life or death. Be careful. Play with me. Be careful. Somebody put in the comment section, be careful. Come on. Say, be careful. Be careful. The Bible says to watch as well as pray. Be careful. Be careful. The devil ain't got as much power as y'all make him seem that he has. It's you. We make it, we make the devil seem like, we make it seem like the devil has all the power in the world. No, he doesn't. You do. He ain't got no damn power. You do. I'm going to make your eggs. Or you want to make them? I'll make them. Do you want them scrambled? Yeah, uh, also want uh, I wanted to comment. I wanted to comment. Baby, can you go in the bathroom and get me a towel, a face towel? You want your phone? Come get it. Yeah. When you're done. Go, go ahead, get go ahead and get it. Oh, go ahead and get your phone. Can you get me some um a towel, please? Thank you, baby. Yeah, but don't know. Tell you. You gotta forgive these people. They don't know. They don't know who you are. They don't even know. They got their mouth on you and they don't even know that their entire lives. They don't even know by them putting their mouth on you that their entire lives are getting ready to fail. Mom. They think you're just an ordinary person. Right? They look at you and so they're treating you like you just an ordinary person. And they don't even know that God has made a covenant with you. And that every tongue that rises against you, he's going to condemn. He's going to repay He's going to repay for every evil word that was ever spoken over my channel, for every evil comment that's ever came out of anybody's mouth, for every negative comment that someone has put in my comment section. They have no idea who I am. 
They don't even know. You got to forgive people because they don't know who you are. They don't know that they're going to start having heart attacks and dropping dead by putting their mouth on you because of the covenant that God has made with you. They don't know who you are. So you have to forgive them and be quiet because by doing so, you will heap coals over their head. When things start breaking down in their lives, they're going to have to go back and backtrack everything, every evil word they ever spoke over you. They're going to have to go back and backtrack it. So we got to be quiet and just keep moving forward. Because as God continues to elevate this channel and elevate my family, it, it don't matter what they say. They're already taken care of. God has already taken care of it. Now, in the future, I'm going to be teaching a, uh, teaching a class on confidence, okay? It's going to be biblical teaching, okay? It's going to come from a biblical teaching. I'm going to be teaching a class on confidence, how to have confidence in yourself, okay? And I want y'all to make sure that y'all register for that class. Make sure you register for that class. I'll let you know when it's coming. It's going to come soon. It's going to come before the year's up. How to have confidence, okay? Because some of y'all don't have, you think you have confidence, but you know God told you a long time ago to, to write that book. You know God told you a long time ago to start that nonprofit. You know God told you a long time ago to do this and do that, but you haven't did it. And you're making excuses and saying you haven't had time to do it. But the real reason why you haven't done it is because you don't have the confidence. That's the real reason why you don't have a confidence. You don't have a confidence in yourself. Oh, yeah. them up and I tell them where to go real quick don't play with me devil I'll punch you in your damn face <laughs> don't play with me you better go on somewhere I ain't going back I told the devil I said baby I ain't going back to being broke you might as well go on about your business you think you you think you doing something you trying to run me off my platform baby you might you mind you, you you best you might as well go and play with yourself Go on somewhere and go on and play with yourself. Go on and play with the kids out back. Because not me. Not me, baby. You ain't running me off of nothing. I went through hell. You mean to tell me I went through hell? My entire life has been hell. I didn't went through all of this hell and high water to, to uh, finally get, uh, finally start reaping the benefits of my prayers. And you think that I'm going to let you knock me down? You think I'm going to let you stop my flow? Oh, no, baby. You better go on with yourself. You better go play with them kids that are uh that are vulnerable. You better go find somebody vulnerable. You better go find somebody who, who don't think much of themselves. Because you messing with the wrong one. I was built for this, baby. I've been a hurt your feelings. Send your home in a wheelchair. <laughs> Y'all send your home in a wheelchair, baby. The devil can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me on his best day. And I'm going to tell you like that. I know who I am and I know who I have living on the inside of me. So why do I have to be afraid of the devil? Why do I have to be afraid of any of that when God dwells on the inside of me and he's given me power and dominion? Why? Why do I need to be afraid? Okay. Right. That's right, Trina. You better say that. The Bible teaches on confidence. So when we do this class, it's going to be biblical teaching because the Bible teaches on confidence. He wants us to have confidence. I'm sick of people always talking about, oh, you need to stay humble. You need to be humble. Baby, I'm 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 humble in my confidence. What you mean? Baby, I I, I got I got I'm humble, but I got confidence. What you mean? Yes. I got confidence. 
Oh, she got a money. She she got money. She got a brand new house. Oh, she a millionaire. She conceded now. No, nah, baby, I'm confident. You better tell them I'm confident. Yes, they don't like me because I'm confident. Because they can't break me down. Because I'm confident. Who is my confidence built into, honey? Where do I get my confidence from? Honey, it comes from my father. And greater is he that lives on the inside of me than he who lives in the world. So yes, baby, when I walk, I walk in confidence. I show up in the room with confidence. And it don't matter how many Miss Sealy's and color purples you call me, baby. I show up with confidence. And I ain't just got confidence, baby. I got oil. I'm dripping with oil. You say, where that oil come from? It comes from my father, the anointing. I'm dripping in it. Baby, somebody put in the comment section, I'm dripping with oil <laughs> yes they mad because they can't take your anointing from you they mad because people gravitate to you because of the anointing where does the anointing come from it comes from my father <laughs> yes somebody said somebody said she's starting to preach i gotta go yeah you might want to leave you might want to exit baby you might want to exit baby i might be messing up your late afternoon saturday mimosa you might want to leave but you will be back when the devil start beating you upside your head you'll be back <laughs> yes you'll be back uh-huh Yeah, it's funny. Okay. okay. Let me clean this off. And I'm gonna do these eggs and we're gonna go about our business. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
have a firm. Oh, I gotta hurry up. The butter burning. Hold on. Hold on, butter. Hold on, butter. I should have did this first. Hold on, Isabel. I'm making y'all eggs, okay? Almost done. Let's make y'all some eggs, okay? Okay. All right. Look good. Look good, baby? Yeah. Yeah. And it's juicy. It's juicy. Like Daddy say, it's juicy. Okay. Pepper. Seasoning. Yep. Back black pepper, garlic powder, I'm and some sea salt. Mommy, I'm trying to teach you. You can't teach me, girl, but you but I can teach you. You can't teach me nothing, baby, about no cooking now. Maybe one day. When you like get bigger, like that. that's right. I'm going to be big for a week. Okay, let's see. Some of y'all didn't even know that you could cook your eggs, eggs on here, y'all. Y'all can cook y'all eggs on here. One for me and one for Elijah. Y'all can cook y'all scrambled eggs on here. Did y'all know that? Okay, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get everything ready. Okay, you go ahead and go out of here. Okay, go on out of here till I'm done. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm Is slippery okay it's not your fault isabel the floor is slippery okay no it's not your fault okay i'm gonna put a little cheese in that egg too y'all let me get some cheese and mommy can you put some salt in my eggs i already put salt in it eggs for y'all. Some sharp cheddar. Okay. Okay, go to the table, Isabel, and tell Elijah to come and eat. Tell him to turn off that game. Okay. He's not on the game. Tell him to get, tell him to come on and eat while y'all wash your hands. Careful. Y'all wash your hands and y'all get ready to come on and eat. Yes, honey. Guess what? I don't know. I don't know who needs to hear this, baby. <clears throat> but God will do what He said. Uh, wash your hands and come in. Go to the table. Oh, okay. He would do. He's not a man that he should lie. He will come through. Yeah, God. y'all the devil can't win it will never it will never be able to prosper all right y'all i'm gonna make these kids plates now let's get them fed first gotta feed your kids first y'all Of the arrow by day 
of the terror by night in one work. Yeah. Can I have this one? Huh? Yeah, that's fine. Um, you want this big pancake? Psych, that's for your daddy. How many pancakes you want? Two. Wait, is that for me or is it? It's free. Uh, free. Oh, is it? If that's purple. Which one you want? <laughs> you want purple or pink? Uh, any. Boy, get out of here. <laughs> Mommy. Eggs. Mommy. Eggs got cheese in them. Mommy. Yes. Mommy, I want purple. Okay, you want purple. All right, y'all go. Oh, Logic, just stand there so you can grab it from me, okay? Is it about one I'm just going to give her a little bit. Okay. And you only wanted turkey bacon? Yeah. Y'all don't come over here. Stop. Ow. 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 Move, Isabel. Okay. Do you want some hash brown too? Why you, you don't need to come over here. Just stand there. Oh. Stand right there. You're okay. Mommy, I don't the chef. Yeah, I'm the chef. Girl, you know I'll be whipping. You better act like you know. She be whipping like that. All right, so there's Elijah's plate. Yes, we use these. Okay. There ain't nothing wrong with using this. Okay, there you go. And take them, uh, they got the syrup. Take you syrup to the counter. Get you some ketchup. And there you go. Isabel, come on. Got you one pancake. I want three. You don't need three. I want to get three. Yeah, but Elijah can eat that much. You are, you cannot. You can't eat that much, Isabel. Why? What do you mean, why? Because you don't. You just don't eat that much, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with not eating a lot. It's okay. Mommy. What? We don't want to eat. Nana. She'll be back. Is your daddy? That's your daddy? No. Who's that? Yeah, yeah, your daddy. He smelled the food. Oh, my Isabel, you want turkey bacon and sausage? Yeah. Here, Isabel. Daddy. Here, Isabel. Daddy. Isabel, here. And then there's Isabel's. Eating some Isabel, here. Okay. All right, babe. So the kids have been fed already. So now, babe, you want me to make your eggs? My mommy. Clifton, do you want me to make your eggs? Okay. Well, babe, your food is done. It's in the oven. I'm saying hi to the waxer squad. Come say <laughs> Cliff the coming y'all. Isabel, get down and get to that table. Huh? What did he say, Elijah? Huh? What did he say? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, y'all, he's taking a shower, y'all. Y'all gonna have to wait. He just came from the gym, so he, he's taking a shower. Where are all my people that that uh, be at the gym with me? Where the uh, 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 workout with D fam at? Where the workout with D fam? We working out today or not, y'all? We working out today? We doing an afternoon walk or what, fam? If the gym is closed, we can go outside. If the gym is closed, we can go outside and do a little and do a walk. We gotta do a walk, y'all. We gotta do a walk. Yeah, we got to take us a walk, y'all. After we eat all this food, we definitely got to take a walk. Yeah, so make sure y'all make sure y'all be checking y'all notifications. Y'all got y'all notifications turned on. 
Because next month, it's finna go, we finna go full throttle next month, y'all. Because I'm not going to be doing any mukbangs. I will go live and cook for my family, but I won't be eating any other food, y'all. My plan is getting ready to change because I'm getting ready to start a 90-day challenge where I'm going to have to eat completely clean because I'm in a challenge. And whoever has the, be the, best, the best transformation gets a prize. And so you know I'm going to go like honey. I'm going to go all in. And so... Um, I start August the 1st. Yeah, I'm not going to meet on no more mukbangs as of August the 1st. It's just going to be Nana, the kids, and my husband. That's it. But I'll still be doing the lives. I'll still be cooking. I might even still come on a mukbang, but just eat my food and not eat any other food I'm making for them. But, um, yeah, Donisha's getting ready to get it together. I got to get all of this together. If God is blessing me in, you know, in, in YouTube, I got to make sure that my body is blessed as well, honey. The body got to be blessed too. God don't just want to bless one area of your life. He wants you to excel in every area. Okay? So I got to look the parts. Okay? You got to look the part. So we, I'm starting a weight loss challenge next month. Um, my mentor, her name is Latoya Okia. I signed up. It was $25 at her website. If you want to sign up, go to Latoya Okia. The pre-order, pre-sale is $25. Once it it starts, I think the price is gonna go up. So I start August the first. I got I'm already prepared. I'm already ready for it. I've done weight loss programs before, so I was just never successful in it because my mind wasn't right. But I'm ready this time. I'm ready, honey. I wanna I wanna look like the woman I did when my husband first met me. Okay, I gotta be eye candy for my man. Okay, extra eye candy. Okay, shoot. I got to get back to where I was, baby. Because when I looked at them, uh, looked at a video that me and him did when we first got together, it was before Isabel was even thought of, before we got married. I looked at a video. I said, who is that? <laughs> I said, I did not know. I looked at that good, y'all. When I tell you I was snatched to the gods, I was snatched, okay? And about, about what? 60 to 70 pounds lighter. So I have about 60 to 70 pounds to lose, you guys. So I could get back to the woman I was when I first met my husband. That's what I want to be. My daughter, I had my daughter and I never lost the weight. I gained like 60 pounds when I was pregnant with my daughter. I just kept eating and eating and eating. He kept feeding and feeding and feeding me. I wasn't working out. I, wasn't, I was just eating. My favorite place to eat was Sonic. My favorite place to eat was Sonic, y'all. I just kept eating and eating and eating. So I know how I got here. But um, it's time to get back to the woman I used to be. Okay? So <laughs> Black said, I'm hungry. Okay, Tiffany. Start with me, girl. Because I'm going to be doing intermediate fasting, too. Yes. Hold on, y'all. Let me get something real quick. Turn it off. You gotta turn it off. You won't get the rib. Turn it off and eat. Eat. Give her some syrup, Elijah, for her pancake. Isabel, turn that off. Mommy, I'm gonna turn it off. Give her some syrup for her pancake. Put some on it for her. All right, so my husband doesn't want eggs, you guys. So I'm going to make my eggs, and then I'm going to sit down and eat with y'all. So let me turn this up nice and hot. And I'm going to put some avocado oil in here. So, yeah, y'all, it's time. You know what I'm saying? It's time. Like, it's time to believe in yourself. It's time to stop telling yourself that you can't lose the weight. You can't be successful. You can't do this. You can't do that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. We can do this, y'all. We can do this. And we're going to do it. You got to resist them cravings, you know? You got to resist them cravings. And that's the hardest part. The hardest part is getting your mind past the cravings. It's a mind thing, y'all. It's a mind thing. We got to get our minds in control because it's our minds. Yep. 
That's right, Vanessa. And uh, weight loss is 20% 20 working out and 80% food. So I could work out all I want. But if I don't correct how I'm eating, I ain't going to never lose no weight no way. Because you're not really going to see a significant difference. You'll see a little bit, but not a significant difference if you're still eating the same way. So, yes. And I'm not I'm not really aiming for like a calorie deficit like that. Like, yeah, I do. I am going to incorporate that. But um it's more so eating healthy. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm getting ready to start eating more vegetables and more lean meats. And staying away from the fried food, staying away from the wine, staying away from the starches and all of that stuff unless it's whole grain. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just got to switch it up. And I'm ready, y'all. I am ready. I'm ready. I'm, I can't wait to do my food prepping. I'm getting ready to start food prepping. I'm going to show you guys how I'm food prepping. I'm going to go live and show y'all my food prepping for the week. Because I'm going to be food prepping like every four or five days. So I'm going to be showing y'all how I'm food prepping and everything. And I'm actually going to start food prepping like the last week of July. I'm going to start food prepping. So it's getting ready to go down, y'all. Um, my mom's birthday is on the 23rd. I'm going to have a hotel book for her, a spa day for me and her. But even at that spa day, I'm going to have to just take my food with me. Or if I can't take my food, if I go to a restaurant that day, I'm going to just have to eat, like, you feel me, a salad and, like, um, and chicken, like lean chicken or something like that. And I might let myself for that one day, you know, slide and might have, you know, a couple glasses of wine or whatever. But I got to get this mind right. Like, I got to get this mind right for real. I got to get it right. I got to get it right, man. I want to, I, I got to, I got to go back where I was. And it's not really, and it's not really all that much because when I met my husband, I was 220 pounds. And I know 220 pounds on, 20 pounds on some of you guys, it, it, you will still be look, you will still look really fat or like really chunky or be unhealthy. But 220 pounds on me is actually really healthy. You guys, it's, I'm really skinny at 220 pounds. And it's because I'm tall, y'all. I am 5'10". So 220 pounds looks really nice on me. So that's my goal, 220 pounds. Mommy. Yes. So, so I can see that's right, Mika. Right. That's right. I've been at this since I started. You right. Isabel, hold on, baby. Let me finish my food now. Let me get my food together now. Mommy. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna put my lettuce, my spinach in here, y'all. I want my yeah. Okay, good. I want my spinach. I want a bunch of spinach. So y'all just gonna see me eat healthy, you know? I got it's the vegetables, y'all. We gotta eat our vegetables, and we not eating our vegetables. We gotta start eating our vegetables, y'all. You see, look at all this spinach I got up here that I'm finna make. Look at all of that. I'm eating all of that. That's all mine. And one thing I love about vegetables is you never, you don't have to calorie count. Whenever you eat vegetables like spinach or lettuce, you got, did you, did you got, or uh, like peppers and stuff. Did y'all know y'all don't have to count the calories on that? Y'all can eat as many vegetables as you want and you will never gain weight. Did you know that? So the, so the goal is to have more vegetables and smaller portions of meat and, and starch. So you, your starch and your meat needs to be small. But the vegetables, baby, you can have as many as you want and you ain't going to gain no weight. Yeah. So I'm telling y'all, y'all getting ready to see me. I'm going to eat so, I'm going to be eating so many vegetables. But the thing about eating vegetables is that it doesn't keep you full long. You'll be hungry an hour later. So you got to, you just going to have to eat a lot of them, you know. So I'm going to start going to the, you know, go to the, um, let me see. Go to the farmer's market. Y'all got to start going to the farmer's market. I'm going to start going to the farmer's markets to get my vegetables. Anywhere I could go that's going to have them at a decent price. Go to the food banks, the farmer's markets, you guys. Find find your local farmers and everything where you can get your vegetables for the low. You feel me? Because we got to be successful. We don't got time to play with the devil. We don't got time. No, he's trying to take our health from us. He trying to take our health from us, y'all. He don't want us to be healthy because he know if our bodies are healthy, we ain't going to be able to serve our purpose. So he want us to be sick. 
He don't want us to feel wake up feeling good in our bodies. So no, we got to fight this. We can't let the devil take us out like that. No. We don't have to fight this. So, you know, yeah, I'm going to still have my cheat meals, but I don't really know how because she's going to tell us. I don't know how I'm going to be able to have. I don't know, like, what is a cheat meal and how I'm going to be able to do it. But she she is incorporating, allowing us to have cheat meals. But I don't know, like, what or when or wow. She ain't told us that yet. So I'm going to figure it out. And then water, right. Drink again. And guess what? I'm getting ready to get me a filtered water system. I'm going to get me one of those crystal big jugs of things of water. I'm going to get me that. Just sit it there. That's fine, baby. Yeah, I'm tired of drinking bottled water. You know, I want to get me one of those ones that are that the crystal ones. I want to order me a crystal one where a water system that had a big old gallons of water so that I could just get me go online like Amazon or something and purchase me a big, huge, you know what I'm saying, um, gallon water jug and then just fill it up every day. You know, that's what I'm thinking about doing. So then I got my onions. And yes, y'all, I'm going to eat all of this. I'm going to tear this up. Yep. I'm going to tear this up. Also, when you're cooking, you know, when you're eating your food, when we on the health kick, y'all, make sure y'all go out to Costco or Sam's Club and get y'all some of this avocado oil. You could eat as much as that too, and you ain't gonna gain no weight. Avocado oil is good. It ain't got that many calories in it. So when people are on a weight loss journey, they kind of don't use the olive oil as much. They save the olive oil for like their meats and stuff like that to slather on their meats. But when they're cooking like normally, they use a lot of avocado oil because it's low in calorie. It is better. It's good, really, really good for you. Mommy. Really, really good for you. So I got my eggs here. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good, baby. Good girl. Oh, let me turn this down. It's cooking too fast. Turn it down now. Okay. I am going to add some cheese in there. Cheese in here, too, y'all. I think I'm going to add the cheese on top, actually. Yeah, I'm going to add the cheese on top. Okay. So that all nice and scramble up. Up and we're gonna get ready. We're gonna get ready to eat. Dang, I didn't turn it off. Come on now, come back on up a little bit now. Okay, let's put the butter away.
y'all, we're gonna eat right here in this kitchen. Y'all, I'm getting ready to tear this food up and get my cheese, put my cheese on top. Just like that. ready let's go let's go y'all ready let's go let's go hey shout out to y'all thank y'all for getting us to 200 likes i appreciate that we getting ready to eat y'all turn it down some okay Ooh, it's hot though Take a quick breather. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm hot. I'm sweating. All right, y'all. Let's say grace. Okay. Oh. Oh, Jesus. I'm hot. Go sit down and eat. I'm eating here. Okay. Father God, thank you so much, Lord, for everything that you have done for us, Lord. I thank you for every subscriber that's watching this video right now, God. I thank you, Father God, for providing for me and my family, God. I thank you for the food that's going to go in my stomach to nourish my body, God. I ask that you will remove all impurities in the name of Jesus, Lord, and that you will make it edifying in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, y'all. So here we go. So I got my eggs, mushroom, spinach, and my cheese on top. It looks like a whole lot because I put a lot of mushrooms, a lot of onions, and a lot of spinach in there because I like a lot of vegetables in my eggs, and I use three eggs. Um, and then I got a little bit of hash brown here, and I got some turkey and some Mommy. turkey bacon. Mommy, I want a hash brown. Didn't I give you a hash brown? No. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to give you a plate. Mm -mm -mm. That spinach is good. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, turkey bacon on the turkey burger is good. Mm. I gotta try that. Mm. I'm so good. Every time I get ready to eat, here come a fly. Who like to fly in here? Man, get out of my cup. 
picture. Out! Baby, come kill this fly. Get out! Get out of my kitchen now. Get out of my kitchen. Oh, you want to play with me? You want to play games with me? Huh? Get out of my damn kitchen. Can't stand flies. I hate the flies with the perfect hate. Don't even want them looking at me while I eat. Don't even look at me. I didn't see that fly at all while I was cooking. As soon as I sit down and eat, here, here it comes. Mm. I don't know, y'all. Mama might have to do the video by herself. Or I might have to be on there and maybe just drink me something because... I'm full. I'm gonna. This is gonna make me real full. This is gonna be it. I ain't gonna want nothing else to eat today. I ain't no way in the world I'm gonna want something else. There's a lot of food. I am not gonna want no no chicken or nothing. Heck no. Especially fried chicken. She make it fried chicken. I'm not gonna want that after eating all this. Mm -mm. She have to eat with. I'll sit on the video with her while she eat, and we'll just talk. And maybe I get me like a go get me a cookie or something, and eat me like a cookie with some milk or something. <laughs> uh uh, I'm not. It's late. What time is it? Uh-uh. It's 2 o'clock. I'm not going to eat again. This is going to keep me full. I, if I get hungry, I will literally, I'm not going to be hungry till maybe about 6 or 7 o'clock. And I don't eat anything after 8. So, I probably will, only thing I'm probably going to want is something sweet later on. But, like, actual food, I'm not going to be hungry to want no food. Buy no dog on my mama. I think she's she supposed to be doing a video about 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock. Ain't no way in the world I'm going to be hungry at 3 or 4 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock. I'm not going to be hungry. I know my body. I know my body. And that's what I got to stop doing. Normally, I have one big meal a day. And that's what I got to stop doing. I got to start spacing my food out and eat like smaller portions throughout the day instead of bigger portions at one time. I don't like this bacon, this turkey. This tastes salty. I don't like this. I'm not eating that bit, that turkey. This one is good. The Jenny O is good, but that other one, uh-uh, that's salty. But this Jenny O bacon is good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Latanya. I know somebody said they helped me eat the rest. <laughs> I know y'all. We all got a greedy palate. But there's more to life than eating, y'all. So expect me back about in a few hours. We're gonna do our walk about 
What's going on in the, in the kitchen here? We're gonna What's do our, going on here? We're going to do our walk about 8 o'clock tonight. You got, no, no, about. Where's the fryer? 4 o'clock today. Huh? Where's the fryer? I had to sit over there. Your food is in the oven. Okay. Hi, everybody. How are you guys doing? You can see me? No. Nope. What's up, everybody? Good afternoon. It's afternoon now. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Good to see you guys. What's up? Everything's okay? All right. Hope everybody okay this weekend. Having a plan for the weekend. Got some housework to do. That's how it goes on the weekend. You got to do some housework. Yeah. Because during the week, you have to go work, you know, make the money. See what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So when it comes to weekend, you got to do some housework and and also get some rest. So I'm saying that's what the weekend for. To rest. Daddy. Yeah, man. What's this? Spinach and uh, mushroom and onions. Oh, yeah. And um, yeah, onions and eggs. Mmm, it's good. And actually, already full. Damn. Mmm, -mm. let's go. What's I this? I didn't like that turkey because it was uh salty. Mmm. I didn't like that turkey. It's hard. Yeah, I didn't like it. It's salty too. Mm -hmm. This is good though. Your food is in the oven. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Got uh, turkey bacon. Really good. The time is up to two now. That's why I tell you, I don't think I'm going to be able to eat, do the video with mama. But I'm going to do the video with her, but I'm not going to eat. I'm After two eat. guys. Because no, I'm going to be full by then. Mm. And she, by the time she get in this kitchen, I'm going to be full as hell. I ain't going to want, I ain't gonna want no dog and chicken. This is orange juice. This is poor. Check the, the date. Where? What does the date say? Let me see. Let me see it. Uh oh, I'm gonna spill that. No, it ain't spilled. It say August 4th. You okay. had to mix it up. Mm -hmm. Babe, turn this back here. You done made people leave. <laughs> Why? Because they came to see the food. <laughs> they ain't come to watch us. They came to see the food. Man. They don't care about us, they care about the food. You want to sit here and eat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> relax a little bit. Mm -hmm. Tired. More relax a little bit. Daddy! Mm -hmm. I live in Washington. I'm in Washington State. Welcome to the Waxer Squad. How did you find us? Mm-hmm. Hey, Mike. Thank you, lady. I It, it does. Her voice sounds different in person, though. In person, it sounds deeper, but like on video, for some reason, it sounds real like, like a baby voice. Thank you from Trinidad. Yes, my 
My husband's from Montego Bay, Jamaica. Aw, thank you, Miss Shelly. She said, I'm glad to be here. I know that's right. I'm so sorry, Robert. I don't know what to do, but um, but other than give y'all the re uh, have mama uh give y'all the recite so y'all can cook, which we did do that actually. We recorded how she cook it, so that video we 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 have it already. Get out of my get out of my kitchen. I'm I'm sick of these flies, babe. Come kill this fly. In the window. Thank you, Lala. Lala said we make a nice couple, babe. <laughs> One of the subscribers said we make a nice couple. <laughs> Mommy, mm, a fly. A fly. Don't hit me with that. Did I get it? No. No, it's right there. It's right there. We're fighting. Huh? Do you guys are fighting? Okay. Well, we're, she's making a video for her channel today, you guys. And so, what I, what I could do is... I can put the fry, the fry, we can put the, um, she's gonna, she, yeah, you guys will be able to see her fried chicken later. My mom is outside, she's gonna record today. Me and Nana. Can one, stop, go sit down. Can one of my moderators put my mom's channel, Real Talk with Nana and Donisha, in the um, comment section so people can go subscribe? I want to say hi to you. Thank you, Julie. I want to say hi to you. I want to say hi to you. She want to say hi, y'all. Thank you, Mike. There is both say hi. Say hey, they said hey. Hey. Thank you, Mike. He's spamming the comments, y'all, with Mama's channel name. Y'all can go subscribe. Go subscribe to Real Talk with Nana. She'll be on there later on today. Me yeah. and her. <laughs> Me and her will be on today. I told my mama I start doing it with her again. So um it can motivate her to get back on there because it seemed like if I don't ask her to do it, she won't do it. Get down, uh uh. You too, you're hurting me. Ow. Get down. Ow. You're hurting my leg, Isabel. Ow. Move. for my face. Um, maybe I will have a piece of cup. Mommy, can we go walk me and you? Yeah, later. Mommy! All right, y'all. I'm getting ready to get up out of here. We've been on here for our going on Mommy, three hours. Mommy, I want to go today. I'm going to go sit down, y'all, and um, do some stuff online, so... I love you all so much. Thank you guys. You guys are a blessing. 
how do you become a member on my channel um if you look in the description box you can click that link that says become a member look in the description box there's a should be a link that that prompts you to become a member or you can go to my youtube channel um but you have uh and there should be a join button and you click the join button to become a member speaking of the members you guys will have a mukbang uploaded on monday so typically what i do is is i if you will become a member i give you basically pretty much four extra mukbangs a month because i do mukbangs that are just specifically for the members that the people that are subscribed to my channel can you stop hold on a second please that none of the um my regular subscribers get to see so we do have some mukbangs already uploaded and then i also and it's for my membership is 4.99 a month a month and um i also do like live streams sometimes i'll do live streams just to check on the members and see how the members is doing and um no one will be able to check on those live streams but the members and so um i try to do those you know at least twice a month or 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 more if depending mm -hmm. And so you guys will have a mukbang coming up really soon um, the, for the members. And you will know if you're a member because you'll have a star by your name. You see how Bonnie, she just commented she has a star by her name. Those are the people who are signed up to my membership. They get the stars. So, and depending on your color will depend on how long you've been a member. So Sandra's, I believe Sandra, Bonnie, y'all been a member for two months now. So... Congratulations to that. Thanks for rocking with me for two months now. And so um, let me get off here and tend to this girl because she she do it. Get down. She want to push the button. Okay, I'm going to let you push it. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my God, y'all. Okay. It's at your level where you'll be able to push it now. Okay. Wait. Don't push it yet. Let me talk. Let me say goodbye to them. All right, y'all. So I pray y'all have a wonderful, uh, blessed weekend, okay? Enjoy y'all loved ones. If I don't see you guys till Monday or next week, I love y'all. It was really nice to see everybody in here today and all of the new subscribers. Welcome to the Waxer Squad. I love y'all, and I pray that y'all have a very blessed and restful weekend. Y'all hear me? Don't let nobody get on your nerves. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful weekend, and I will see y'all on the next video, okay? I love y'all.